Hey, y'all. It's AGP here, and it's Sunday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> okay, obviously, usually that you would hear on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I should say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, slash Saturday, because usually that's how it goes. Sometimes it's not Friday. Sometimes it's Saturday. But it's usually definitely Monday and Wednesday, and you'll get another day of videos from me in the week. I just never know which the last day is. Y'all know that The Last of Us Part 2 comes out in like 12 days, so it's lit. So we're under two weeks out, and if you guys have been tuned in to some of the info and news that we've been getting in the last few days, you realize that like there's, there's gonna be a big difference in this game from the last game as far as difficulty levels go and how you should go about playing the game. Of course, in the first Last of Us, you had your stealth aspects, and a lot of times you tried to either bypass infected or humans if you could or you could take them out there were no silencers now we have some silencers there's a whole upgrade for the crafting trees and things of that nature which you guys probably know already today i just wanted to come and talk to y'all about the difficulty levels in general obviously y'all know that i believe in the first last of us it was easy hard grounded and survival were the four modes but i think you had to unlock survival mode you had to unlock that one after you played the game once and i'm trying to remember how you unlocked it you might have had to beat it on a certain level of difficulty to unlock it or just beat the game first i think you just had to beat the game in general to unlock survival mode well now in last of us part two survival mode is going to be available to you from jump street yeah so you don't have to beat the game first you can start off by being like you know what i'm gonna make a game that might, might supposed to take 40 to 50 hours i'm gonna make that to take 100 that could be your attitude. Maybe you go straight for survival mode. I haven't decided what I'm going to play on yet, but we'll see. I played on hard usually, and I never really tried out grounded. I assume it's only a little bit harder, but we'll see. So in this case, the last was part two. Survival mode will be unlocked right away, and it will be easily accessible to everyone. Now, we've, I've never seen this, but apparently there's going to be a large level of customization for your difficulty level in The Last of Us Part 2. So you'll have sliders for changing stuff as far as how many resources, how plentiful the place is gonna be. You can slide the bars for how much health Ellie's gonna have. I don't know if you can slide the bar for how much health her enemy has, but things of that nature. Probably the damage of your weapons. I'm gonna read y'all what they were saying on inverse.com. In The Last of Us Part 2, will be an exhaustively customizable experience for any kind of player in terms of difficulty and accessibility options. For those looking at the game's difficulty, Game Informer has confirmed that the extremely difficult survivor mode for the previous game is unlocked from the get-go. It goes on to say, additionally, players can specifically modify difficulty elements such as how much damage Ellie takes, how perceptive enemies are, and how plentiful resources are in the world. So you don't chase, you doesn't say that you can slide their health bar, but you can slide how perceptive they are. So they may, you can make it so they're quite oblivious. The lead gameplay designer, Amelia Schatz, told The Verge in a report detailing the accessibility that accessibility for us is about removing barriers that are keeping players from completing a game. So they're trying to make it so it doesn't matter who you are, what you like to play, that you'll be able to play this with relative ease or not ease. You can customize it however you want. Now I also wanted to discuss the stealth aspect and combat of this game just period as far as the gameplay goes and we learned a lot of this on the in the inside the gameplay video and now you guys know they've added a lot of different things or at least a few different things as far as there actually being a jump button and there's a dodge button and you have now a stealth mode where you can go prone instead of just crouching obviously that makes a big difference in a lot of encounters if you've heard anything from like the creators talking to some previews from places like IGN they were making statements such as staying hidden and striking from the shadows is heavily encouraged at the beginning of any encounter, but especially when you find yourself in an overgrown Seattle park surrounded by mysterious brown cloth clad torch bearers searching the area for stragglers. Tall grass is often Ellie's best friend, although it doesn't make her completely invisible to enemies. Being proactive and constantly on the move proved successful for me as I bypass some enemies before ultimately having to strike. Now we know that again what we learned in the inside the gameplay that you're not going to be completely hidden from people when you're prone it depends on the distance and so what they were saying on the, in the inside the gameplay video if you haven't seen it you'll have to at a distance people won't be able to see you in the grass very much but the closer they get the more visible you'll become like they'll be able to see the difference between 
you in the grass and it just won't hide you as well. Assume that the Scars will be better at finding you in those situations than the WLS. Those are the two factions in the game if you guys don't know or didn't hear about it. They explain in the state of play that the WLS are a very militant type group, but the, the Scars are the religious cult kind of group. Like, they are used to also fighting in that manner. Might as be fighting against them while they're using kind of guerrilla tactics. So they could be hiding in trees and things. I'm not really excited for that. Hopefully that does not happen. I do not want to get shot from a tree branch at any point in time. Now it's also confirmed that The Last of Us Part 2 offers different skill branches, allowing you to use supplements to upgrade specific branches of abilities such as stealth, precision, and explosives. You need to be a bit more picky with what you choose to upgrade than you might be in another game. This also applies to weapon upgrades which can be unlocked with scavenged materials, which we know this is a survival game. That was the case in the first The Last of Us anyways. You had to make sure that you did search areas for resources and they already confirmed that you won't be able to upgrade ellie fully in your first playthrough but yeah y'all so that's all i really wanted to come and talk to y'all about today i apologize for not having this video up on friday my i'm still gonna have another video tomorrow like we're gonna do it the way we usually do it and now your boy got an elgato so there will be more gameplay on the channel and i'm trying to figure out how to do my gameplay for last was part two which i told y'all before and goes to tsushima but we will be getting into that later but yeah so that's all i wanted to come here and say and i'm gonna catch y'all later all right agp out don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace don't scream put that shit down you remember me You remember me.